This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2017, and I am here with my, can I call you old friend now? Yeah, I think so. Is we that okay? That. Yeah. My, my old friend, Mr. Hal Baylor. Hal is in charge of business development for INOC. Hal, welcome to JSA TV as always. Dean, thank you so much. Appreciate being here. You bet, you bet. So, um, Hal, let's let's talk about longevity right now. Um, I know that you guys have been in business for um, over 17 years now. So, what is the secret to your long-term success? A lot of hard work, managing <laughs> networks. Right? Yes, yes, and uh, digging into lots and lots of details. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what people appreciate. That's what we do. Outstanding. So, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about what it is that you do? So INOC is an outsourced NOC service provider. That's one of the major things that we do, and that's mm -hmm. how we've grown our business. But we've really branched out because of our clients' needs. We actually are doing engineering services, mm -hmm. so professional services. We also uh, have a new, uh, I guess I call it product set, but it's a really a discipline, and that is uh, what we call lifecycle services. So we have what we call NOC lifecycle services, mm -hmm. where we go into other NOCs and evaluate what they're doing currently, look at all the metrics, look at all the staffing, uh, how they have their uh, NOC tiered, uh, just dig into all the tools and how everything interoperates together, mm -hmm. look at all the workflows, and then, then give them an analysis of how that can be improved. And then we can also go in and help them do that improvement. And we can also build NOCs as well. So it's the same discipline, going in and understanding what they need, mm -hmm. assessing what they need, and then uh, implementing that. So those are the three areas. The NOC uh, support as a augmented feature of service that we provide to them. Uh, the engineering services that tie back into the NOC because the network gear has to work when we're monitoring it. Right. And then helping them with their NOC. Outstanding. Hal, so um, what's the latest and greatest news coming out of the, uh, the INOC newsroom right now? Well, it's that third one, and I'm sorry I uh, <laughs> threw that news out there in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> oh, is it the third one? Okay, tell us again then. <laughs> uh, it's really exciting because, and, and we've been doing this for a couple of years, we started small, but we've uh, gotten into some very large networks mm -hmm. where we go and do this analysis and talk to them, really, and, and it's really interesting. We go in and typical, typically we'll find that they have way too many people in their NOC. They don't know how much time each of their NOC technicians is spending on a uh, ticket, for example. And then we put wrap the metrics around that, give a clear understanding of that, and they might go from 50 people down to 20 people. Mm -hmm. You know, save money. And those are some of the key elements. There's a lot more to it. There's so many departmental disciplines that go into building a NOC and making it work well, that, that those are the challenges. People can do parts of those things, and everybody can set up a knock and have network engineers and fix things. Mm -hmm. It's the efficiencies in making it work and hum like a real finely tuned machine that is this new business that we're doing. Fantastic. So um, we're talking about new business now, but let's talk about what new business looks like a year from now. Why don't you get out the, uh, the, the um, crystal ball and tell me what um, – what our viewers can expect to see from INOC, say, over the next year? Well, I think that it's going to be with that, uh, the middle one that I talked about, lots more engineering services. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a new uh, VP. Uh, I won't announce him, uh, but he'll be announced shortly. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> Breaking news right here. Uh, well, uh, Mark, you, you, La Mark LaForest has joined our team. Outstanding. Uh, uh, from uh, the world of building uh, financial networks. So, uh He's a, a, a VP of uh, business development in that arena as well in the life cycle services. Mm -hmm. So he'll be getting out there and uh, building, helping build networks. Uh, we're going to have that going and then the life cycle services as well. Uh, and then NOC support. We've been getting larger and larger enterprise clients mm -hmm. as well as service provider customers. So uh, it's really an interesting mix because our operational framework that we've built is so uh, well developed that it can fit onto any environment uh, and help. Awesome. Hal, thanks as always for joining us at JSA TV. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Dean. I appreciate it being here and really fun to talk to you. It was it was nice actually catching up with you last night <laughs> over a couple of those pork belly sandwiches, too. <laughs> those were good. <laughs> they were very, very good. So thanks again, Hal. Take care, Dean. Thanks you bet. So you bet. And thank, thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.